Hey everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel and welcome to another easy to follow Android home screen tutorial where I'll be helping you create an awesome looking Android home screen. So let us begin. Great everyone, so today's setup is brought to you by Pitoko with his home screen titled Flat Minimal UI. It is a one page setup, but there's still a lot more here than meets the eye. If we just have a general look, it's got your Google search at the top here, that when selecting it will bring up your Google search just like that. What's more, it's got your weather information there that stands out, very bold, it's very clean, looks amazing. It's got your time and date there, really nice. It's got a few shortcuts here that will bring up your app drawer as well as some few other extras such as your dialer, your messages as well as a few extras as well. But the part that stands out the most is this little pop-up little icon here that when selected brings out this little flashy little bottom area with some more jump to shortcuts. Now for a few of them, for example the camera or the Play Store that when selected will just bring up the Play Store just like that. However what's more is that for example this RSS icon here that when selected will bring up an RSS reader just like this. So you don't have to go into an app or anything, it's straight on your home page. But when swiping away or getting back, it's gone, it's clean and it's perfect for all the minimal lovers out there that want a whole bunch of functionality but they still want to keep their basic setup as clean as possible. So if you'd like to know how to set up this home screen, then let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so before we begin, just letting you know what apps and resources that you'll be needing in order to complete this very setup. First up will be a custom launcher, for example Nova Launcher, as that's a launcher that I'm using here. You are welcome to use any other launcher, even use Thema if you're using a 1080p phone. Next up will be Pop-Up Widget, as that en enables you to do this little fancy pop-up gesture, looks really cool. Next up will be Zupa Widget Pro, as that is this entire widget right here, and you need the Pro version because whilst the free version just can't import custom templates. And last but not least, a good old file explorer such as ES File Explorer, simply because it's free and you need to copy and paste a few files. Next up you want to check in the link in the description below, it comes with the zip file that you need in order to complete this very setup, it comes with say the wallpaper and the Zoop widget files. What you're welcome to do is say copy it onto your computer, then extract it using various file extraction software, or you can just copy it directly onto your phone and extract it say using ES File Explorer. Once you have copied or extracted the folder, it should come up with these various files, but the only ones that we need to be moving is the Zupa widget ones, and you know that they're Zupa widget files or templates because they end in .zw. Once you've selected both, you can just select more, copy to, or move to whatever your preference is, go into your main SD card directory, look for the Zupa widget folder, look for the templates folder, and then just select OK, and basically just paste these two files into that Zupa widget template folder. Once that's done, that's all your prep work complete. We can just minimize everything right now, as now we can start customizing our Nova Launcher settings. Great, so the very first thing you want to do is to remove any icons or widgets that are currently on your home screen. You just simply have to hold down on them, select remove, or you can just drag them into the X at the top. Once your home screen is completely blank, you want to hold down on the home screen, select the little wrench right there. This will bring you up into your Nova Launcher settings or however else your launcher does it. Next up we want to jump into our desktop and then into our desktop grid. As from here you want to be changing the grid size and I did find an 8x8 worked pretty well. You are welcome to change it up a bit but this seemed to work the best for me. Your margins you want to be on none, your shadows none. Home screen you just want to be having one home screen as yeah that's it's only just a one page setup. So you can leave the rest blank. You can disable label icons, there are no icons in theory. And then finally you want to enable widget overlap and overlap when placing as that always seems to work out pretty good. Your dock, you want to have that disabled, you do not need a dock. For your look and feel, if we go scroll down to the bottom, you want to disable show notification bar, as you don't need to have a notification bar at the top, we just have all the information that we need in the home screen. So that's pretty much it. Gestures and buttons, I do somewhat recommend as we're going to be eliminating everything. So for example, your home button, well, I don't have a home button, but you can enable, enable that to open up your app drawer. But the rest, the gestures, remember this is only for pro version, that you can always just say pinch or swipe up to open up your app drawer. It is always recommended. Or you can always just be lazy and then just place an app drawer icon on the home screen itself. So once that's done, you want to have a completely blank home screen. And now we're going to be setting up the wallpaper and then the Zupa widget. Great, so let's change the wallpaper. Extremely easy to do. We're just going to simply hold down on the home screen, select wallpapers, go into our gallery now as we've hopefully copied that folder onto your phone. Select the flat minimal UI pop-up folder right here, select the wallpaper, 
you can choose however you want it but I'm just going to select this little Nova Crop button here at the bottom select portrait as this just makes resizing somewhat easier especially if you just have one screen and just get it to wherever else you want basically I think that looks pretty good I'm going to select OK and it's going to set the wallpaper pretty much how it looked before but yeah it should look like this for your home screen right now as we are now ready to add in that awesome looking Zupa widget Great, so in order to add in that Zupa widget, extremely easy to do. We're going to simply hold down on your home screen, select widget right now, scroll to the bottom and select Zupa widget pro. Does not matter what size you want to go for as you're going to be holding down on it, selecting resize and making it take up the entire screen. So that's right, width and the top and bottom. So there it is completely taking up the whole screen. Now we're going to select, it's going to bring up the Zupa widget configuration options here. Next up, we're going to select the SD card as now we've hopefully copied it into the rightful place and we're going to scroll down to the bottom and hopefully it's there, there it is right there so there it is the flat minimal UI pop PTK and there it is you just want to basically leave it for now we can always just go back see what it's going to be looking like see if you have to resize it in any way once you've got it say in the right places everything looks good we're going to then start adding in some functionality to this widget right here so all we're going to do now is to select it and it's going to bring up the Zupa widget configuration. We're going to select layout right now. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and look for the one that says the bitmap that's called add to queue. So you can always just double check by selecting the checker box right there or the checkbox to just to make sure that it's that icon there at the bottom. I'm going to select it right now. Scroll a bit to the widget on tap action and I want to select it right now as this is probably one of the most important parts is this is where we're going to be adding in the pop up widget. It is a shortcut so you have to jump to the shortcuts tab. I'm going to scroll to the bottom where it's there it is pop up widget now as you can see I've already added all mine in but all you have to do now is to select create a new pop up widget we're going to scroll down and select Zupa widget pro because remember you're going to be adding in a Zupa widget pop up widget yeah so we're going to be selecting say which size let's go for a 7 by 2 and I just want to scroll down to the bottom see what it's going to be looking like you can make it a bit wider you might have to configure that later but that looks good for now. I just basically left all of these settings blank because it kind of looked like the same how the author did it. So I was quite happy with that. However, the only thing that you do want to change is the customized position. As from here, you want to enable that. Remember, you can't do that on the free version, but you do want to go into input position. Now, I did want to make it at the bottom and I had no idea what the bottom size was so I just made it big like 2000 and that seemed to push it way down so if it works for you good if not then just make the size a lot bigger so what we're going to do now is to go back we're going to select our Zupa widget that we've just created and let's just see what it looks like just go back out of everything and let's just test it out we're going to be selecting it now see it comes with that error saying fail to instantiate the widget although yeah it is very annoying um, what I even had to do was to add in a shortcut but for some reason I just select it again and then bam it works so it is a strange phenomenon don't really know what explains it or what causes it but yeah there it is we're just going to select this hand now as we now want to configure this Zupa widget we're going to go back into our SD card for some reason this template wasn't at the bottom maybe for you but for me I found it here near at the top so I'm just going to select it right now and there it is it may look a bit smaller so you might have to do some resizing later on but I'll show you how to get there but for now we're just going to jump into the layout and we're going to do the, exactly the same process as we did earlier on with say changing the bitmap module on tap actions so for example I want to change the RSS feed so I'm going to look for the RSS PNG icon so I'm going to select it that's that one over there scroll down to the bottom same exact procedure going to go into the module on tap action scroll across to shortcuts and from here we want to select pop-up widget once again so all you have to do is to say select create a new pop-up widget and then just select your preferred RSS reader I'm just going to go for the Thema RSS widget so it's this one over here I'm just going to be changing the appearance settings I'm just going to make the trans or the background transparency a bit darker just so it's a bit easier to read but the rest you can leave pretty much standard so I'm just going to go back once again and, and now you can see that it's been added and from here don't forget to always select it don't just go back otherwise it won't just select it won't select anything so from here what you want to do is to say just go back out of everything see what it's going to be looking like select the RSS widget and there it is so maybe if it isn't the right size for you maybe it doesn't look too good then all you'd want to do is to say go into your go back into your recent apps 
go into your pop-up widget this is a lot easier than say going back into your app drawer and changing it and from here you can just change it so say I think it was this one that I used you just want to scroll down to the bottom and then just resize it from here so that makes your life a whole lot easier and then from here you can just do that to every single one of these icons for example the music icon was to link to the Google Play music remember that is a pop-up widget as well so it is a lot of pop-up widgets it does take some time but once you add one or two it does become a lot easier great so just some things to take note say if you open up this widget once again and something doesn't open say for the example this Facebook one it says fail to instantiate the widget that means that you haven't configured it yet or for example if you have configured it and you have set it up as a pop-up widget then it simply means you just have to give it some time and it'll just do its thing eventually so and I know it is a little bit buggy but like say for example the Google Plus one it just took a few tries and then eventually it worked out so yeah other than that you may be wondering how I keep doing that swipe away that swipe back it's an exposed module and a lot of the things that you currently see here are exposed modules if you have no idea what I'm talking about then I'll provide a link in the description below for the video to explaining all the exposed modules that I'm currently running so other than that thank you very much guys for watching this video hope you have enjoyed it if you did please give us a thumbs up as well as to please subscribe to the my color screen channel if you haven't already also don't forget to check out our various social communities we're on twitter facebook google plus and even instagram so yeah thank you very much guys for watching marco here from the my color screen channel and as always don't stop customizing